I heard the door. The minute I heard his really accent, I thought something's wrong. And um, he just said, there's been an accident. And I said, oh, I said, is he okay? What happened? Or, you know, like, how severely is he injured? They kept kind of staring at me, just looking at me. And then I said, I think I must have said, did he die or is he dead? And then they said, yes. Max and my sister Paige and myself, we all decided to go to Israel on our birthright trip. Part of his trip was to go to the Mount Herzl. When he went to the cemetery, Mount Herzl, I think that really, really impacted him. We were told that he had made a statement out loud that uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do what these guys did to serve and to protect Israel. We didn't recognize or, or believe how passionate he was about this. He absolutely would not do anything but Galani, and he wanted Galani 13. And they told him no at first, and he's like, I don't care, send me home, send me to jail. There's, that's it. Just looking at him makes you smile yeah. because Max's smile was, you know, from ear to ear. This is where my love for Israel is. They were so appreciative of our son sacrificing his life. 30,000 people is a lot of people. It, it was very moving. You realize, you know, your life has a meaning and you have only a certain amount of time to uh, you know, live it right. And uh, you know, that, that's a constant reminder from the day it happened until the rest of my life. I think that was his, his mission. I think it was his mission. And you know what? Mission accomplished. <laughs>